it's a bit you. GY6 engines. It is a Peugeot V Click 50cc. It's a 2013 gaffer tape. No, no. Uh, oh, come on. Um, son owned it. Dad done a lot of bits of work to it. New battery, new exhaust, etc. But it doesn't run. Uh, starter on it. So I've said this before. It is a process of elimination. Um, I took off the electric start and the kill switch. You know, kill switch makes sense. Electric start makes sense. Um, so I then got a voltmeter and tested, turned it on, tested, no power to it. I've had it before with a side stand switch. So I just rooted that back into itself. Still nothing. And then I got onto this. Check the fuse and there's power in and out the fuse. Anyone spot the relay? Look at that. So, this is supposed to have the cover on, which it has, and this is supposed to have a rubber mat, which it hasn't, which means then water could have regressed in here, could have got in here, and it's fucked it. So I think it might be this. So I'm going to get that out and check power in and out. And obviously, this does the power in and power out to start the relay. If that's not working, you're not going to get any power to the starter, you're not going to get any power to the bike, it's not going to work, and it could be something as simple as that. Now, this is a bit of a wreck. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a lot of work to uh, do this. It looks like a pile of shit. However, a pile of shit is what I work best with. Going to get out and have a look at it. So, it snapped off. But, there's a screw there, let's undo that and see what's inside here. But it ain't right, is it? You can see it looks like it's burnt out, actually. Looks like it's arcing on, it's got red hot and burnt. So there may be more damage done, I don't know. And that wire there looks very much burnt, doesn't it? Look at it. We'll have a look if there's a power there. Do you know the main difficulty with fixing little bikes and I go into practically mode that used to be before is they're not your Boeotians they look like a Boeotian um, pulse stuff like that these are Peugeot so slightly better build quality and then I get to the engine and think this is exactly the same engine GY6 engine there's no real difference to it there's nothing Peugeot bit on this engine at all it's exactly the same little tacky bits so I'm going to take all the stickers off, I'm going to blow all the panels over, um, I found a fault, let me show you. This is the starter relay, uh, you can see there, that there is burnt, which means this is burnt out, and it could have been anything really that sort of burns it out, I've got to go through everything. Originally I thought it was a side stand, so I just unplugged that, um, and I had no power there. I then moved on nicely to the switch gear here, and I was bugger wrong with that, you know, I can't even find it. What the hell have I done with it? I moved everything around yesterday because I was um, doing my truck. I decided to do the uh, brakes and discs on my truck, and I was going to do a video on it, and again I just thought, you know what, no one cares about me doing brake pads, but you know what, look at that. These brake pads are like brand new. That really, really pissed me off. I paid £400 out for these. And the discs themselves are brilliant. But I was getting this knocking noise. I was told, you know, your brakes need changing. But I can't see any reason for them brake need changing at all. So I'm a little bit pissed with that. However, the belt was well worth changing. Can you see all those cracks? They would have most certainly have gone. So, as I said, I tested this. Um, I thought it could be the kill switch because that means there'd be no power to it. Um, tested it here, voltmeter, had no power. So I've got no power there, no power there. You go back all the way. This is why I say a lot of videos I do. You have to go all the way from the static coil to the CDR unit, CDR unit to the HT when you've got no spark. When you've got no electrics, you have to go back from the battery. And I worked my way back to it and found the relay. It's not rocket science, it just is not going to be an instant fix, and you do make a hell of a mess of the bike. But as I said, I want all the panels off anyway. My major concern is that why it burnt out. You know, I don't just normally just burn out, I mean, there might be cheap parts. 
but I don't just burn out. So I've got to find why it did it. So I found a couple of connectors that look like they're slightly rusty. Could be something to do with a starter motor. You could have sat there forever going, da -da 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 you don't know. You don't know what the last person did. Anyway, I am going to get around this bike, quickly show you actually. It just looks like a pile of dung. And my job is to clean it all up, get her looking nice. Cracks, get all this off, redo all the back lights. That there was crappy. Um, I found a startup, it's got a cover on it, so I want to make sure that's connected, not earthing out. Plugs in there. See how much easier it is to get to. Here's the CDI flapping in the wind, you know. That looks original, but I've got a oh, look. Someone's messed around with the wires to try and see, it could even be that. This is why I said to you before, people cut wires to make it go faster. This could have fucked it, basically. So I need to investigate what an idiot's done there. Check the fuse, that was fine. But can you see that burnt now? Could be something to do with that, couldn't it? People do these things and don't think what they're doing. Let's get on, clean it all up. I've got the uh, f relay coming today or tomorrow. So once I get that on there, but I'm going to check that wire out, what that done there, what they've cut, pull it back to standard. If it only does 30 miles an hour, that's all it's going to do. I don't like cutting wires, never like cutting wires, silly fuckers. So I investigated a little bit more and I found the start motor wire was sort of like detached a little bit. You know, it might have been arcing on the side and that may have caused the burnout. So I just wanted to see, amazingly... I only bought this yesterday and the starter relay came today. Um, US scooter parts, brilliant, well done. So I've just plugged it in. WD faulted the bits and bobs I had. Uh, I'm a bit worried about starting it or trying to in case that arcs. So if I turn it on and I hear the arcing when I press the button, I know there's a problem. So. Haven't connected it back yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I went and bought another starter motor anyway, another 16 quid, and now I didn't need it. But I'm going to change it. I bought it, I feel safer because it's loose. Bloody hell. Well, that's a quick fix, as any. Yeah. Include all this. I'm not particularly happy with the overglue of it. Um, but saying that, it's still a lot better than all of the cellar tape and crap that was on there, isn't it? You know, at least it's on there now. Got to get the sticker off. Going to put all this back on. Going to rewire that back. No, I'm going to leave that, actually, because it really pisses me off. They do go. And obviously this, I've looked into it. That comes out of this anyway, so I think it's an off-the-market one. I'm going to put it all back together, except the seat bit. When the starter motor comes in a few days, I'll change that over, put new decals, spray, clean, and then you can have a look. Now it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether the person's told you to give it a fresh oil change, blah, blah, bollocks. 70 mil, it's only a litre of oil, fresh oil, take it out. Little thimble like, that's your oil filter. As long as there's no crap in there, it's all good and just undo it, drain the oil out, about a litre, and then pop it back in again. No need to change anything else. These are so, so easy to work on. Such a small little filter. Job done. And just make sure it's nice and tight, doing it back up again, okay? There we go. And there you have, no change on one of these tiny little bikes. I'm just gonna obviously fill it back up again now. You've got to do it. I don't, I, don't, I don't care if someone said that they'd just only done it. I mean, check the oil. If it's black, change it. It's tenner. That's all it is. We'll have a quick look around this bike now. Once I fill it full of oil. And you can hear her running. And uh, this is a job done. I've got some decals coming. 
I decided to get lime green ones and I think they look quite nice personally. Right, let's get some more and then have a show round. And there we go. I've got some decals coming. Did a little rubber mat. I don't know what you think of that. Still better than what it was and it will still stop the rain from regressing into the actual battery which I've sealed as well. Um, I've got to say decals, I'm going to take them off. Just done the old change, really, really simple. Test the oil, you have the stick, so just dip it in. And when it's full, you screw it in, it's over full. Don't worry about it. You don't um, do it to that bit, it's low then. Sealed that. Not too impressed with a bit of over glue on here, but hey. Air filter's all secure now. Few little marks, I did blow it over. Otherwise than that. Job done, how easy can it be? Don't be afraid to take things apart. There's videos out to help you, there's lots of videos on these, not just my channel. But if you're gonna buy something to do up, then you've got to have the guts to pull it apart. If you buy it cheap enough, like this was cheap, um, it could have been a complete write-off, it really could have been. Um, very concerning when you first start taking it apart, and it could be this, could be that. And it turned out to be the power, um, power, turned out to be the yeah, power relay um, I got another starter motor coming turned out it wasn't that but I'm not happy with it because the wire could come out a little bit could arc out again could burn out again so I'm still going to change that and I've got the decals to go on job done thank you so much please like share and subscribe keep watching my videos as I said this was a bit of a mixer one really I just wanted to get on with it rather than taking anything apart that didn't need it cleaned the plug didn't need to change it just done the oil change cut the peak I got that big 20 litres if you watched my manual oil video and that's what I'm just putting this 1040 ordinary oil doesn't need super duper oil car oil's fine for these little bikes change them regularly love them that's all you've got to do bye bye